Hi there! Well, today's video is going to be all about my Hobo International Lauren wallet. I mentioned this wallet to you in my most recent favorites video, and I asked if you would be interested in seeing a tour of this so you can get a better look at all the inside features, and a lot of you mentioned that you would. So it is my pleasure to do that because this is my absolute favorite wallet of all time. I have had probably seven or eight of them. The reason I've had so many is they come out in different colors, I believe twice a year. So this style is called the Lauren and they also have a very similar wallet called Belinda. Now Belinda will come in a patent leather and then the Lauren will come in a vintage leather. This is somewhere in between a patent and a vintage because this is actually their 10th anniversary edition wallet. I purchased this one on eBay. They are available from a lot of different retailers. You can find them at Nordstrom. You can find them at the hobobags.com site. You can find them on Amazon. So it really just depends on what color you're looking for. So now let's talk for a moment about why I love the Lauren wallet so much. First of all, I like a continental style wallet. That's always been my preference. I just like being able to open them up to put bills in flat. I like to be able to put receipts in and things like that. So I always just tend to gravitate toward a continental style wallet. I also love the versatility of this. I love that it can be carried as a clutch. So you can actually fit an iPhone 6 or a 6 Plus inside of here along with a lipstick so that makes it really great for day to evening. I will carry this in my bag during the daytime in my everyday tote bag and then if I'd like to go out at night and I don't want to bring everything with me I can just pop in my phone and maybe a touch-up lipstick and I'm ready to go. So that makes this really nice and really versatile. Also over the years they've come out with a lot of different color and lining combinations so I want to say maybe twice a year they come out with new collections. And so each time around, they'll introduce about five or six new leather colors, and then those will have a different coordinating lining inside as well. The lining is the same with uh, for all the colors in each collection, but it does vary each time around, if that makes sense. So this time around, this is, as I mentioned in the opening, the 10th anniversary edition, so there is a special 10th anniversary lining, which I will show you here in a moment. Um, but I really just like the pink color on this one this time around. Okay. Now, the most important feature for me of this wallet is the way that it is set up and the way that it's organized. So I'm going to go into this in more detail, but you've got two main pockets here, and then you've also got the inside here that opens up. There's some card or organization. You've got an ID slot here. So it's just really nice to be able to maybe just go into the pocket that you need without having to open up your entire wallet. It's nice to be able to know exactly where you've got certain things so that you don't have to search for something in your wallet. You don't lose things as easily. And I just really, really like the setup of this. I think it gives you a lot of ability to customize your organization based on your own daily needs. So now let's go ahead and take a look inside. Okay, so here we are. Let's go ahead and take a look at the specs of this wallet. So this is eight and a half inches wide by five inches high and one inch deep. This is, as I mentioned in the opening, the 10th anniversary Lauren edition. So normally the Lauren wallet would come in a vintage leather, which has a little bit of a tumbled leather look. It's really nice, but usually not this glossy. This to me is a little bit more like their Belinda wallet, which are always in patent leather. And this is somewhere in between the vintage look and the patent look. Not exactly as shiny as a patent, but it does have a bit of a gloss to it, as you can see. But the size and the layout of this are exactly the same as the standard wallets. This does have a polished nickel hardware uh, frame on it as they normally do. Right now they're saying that the current wallet collection has a brushed nickel. So do pay attention to that. If you're particular about the color, you might check to make sure that the leather color you want comes with the hardware color that you want for that particular season. All right, so let's start by talking about some of the features. I'm going to open this up first and we'll take a look at what is on the inside. So this does have two magnetic closures, so the wallet will just easily pop together like this and then you can open it up. There are three credit card slots here. There's also many more in here, so this is not all that you're getting, but I like to put my most used cards here, so like a debit card and my most used credit card, so those are easy to get to. And then down here is an ID slot. It's got a clear preview window so that you don't actually have to take this out if you need to show it to a clerk when you're checking out. Um, but it's really nice to be able just to see that right away when you open up your wallet. And there is also a little cutout here so that you can move this out easily if you do need 
handy to remove it from the wallet. And then this is one of those sort of little hidden uh, spaces that I really like about this wallet. It's kind of a nice little place to keep things, maybe things that you don't need to get to all the time. But this zips open. These zippers are very sturdy. This is very well made. And the pocket here actually goes down the whole, nearly the whole length and width of the wallet. And as you can see, it is completely lined as well with the 10th anniversary edition lining. I really like this. This is a neat place to put receipts, maybe things that you need to keep for business receipts. Again, something that you don't necessarily need to get to all the time, but it is a great extra space. You can't put anything too thick in there or you wouldn't be able to fold it back close, but for some, a few little bits of paper and things like that, it's a really good spot. Also, if you want to keep a little bit of extra cash just for an emergency, that would be a great place to do that as well. And you wouldn't have to worry about anything falling out. So let me zip this back closed. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this first pocket here on the front. This is probably the area that I get into most in this wallet. So the clasps here are just a push open and then a pop close. So you just press this here and that pops open. If you need to close it, you just snap it back together. It's very easy to do, but it is very secure as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this open. And as I've had many of these wallets in the past, I do want to mention I've never had any problems with this hardware. As many times as I've opened and closed them, as long as I've used them, they still work the same from the beginning until the time that I've sold them. They're just very nice hardware, very good quality. So if you're concerned about that, that's just something I thought I would mention. Okay, so going inside of here, you can see that this is fully lined as well. This is where I always like to keep my cash. It's just a really easy place on the front so I can get to that quickly. So you're able to put paper money here, your bills, you can lay them flat so you can see everything. And then there's also a zippered pocket along here. This is where I like to keep change. I found that that's a really good place to do that, but you can keep whatever you like in here. As I mentioned before, this, it's kind of nice that these wallets are sort of customizable, so you can set it up however you would like. And then there's also a sewn-in patch here that just says Hobo, the original for the branding. Okay, so we've gone over this front pocket here. Now let me go ahead and just pull this down here so I can give you a better look down inside, and we'll go into this back pocket. This does have the same hardware. It opens up the same way. You just push the little clasp there, and it pops right open. It does open wide just like like the other pockets so you can really get a good look down inside of here. So this has two slip pockets, one along the back wall and then one along the front wall here. And then it has six additional card slots. So this is really nice. This is where I will keep the majority of cards that I don't need to get to all the time. Like maybe my Sephora card, I've got my Ulta card here. So it's just a really nice place to put those cards that I do need to have with me but I probably am not going to use every day. And then this slip pocket here is also convenient. They it's quite wide. It does run about three quarters of the length of the back of the wallet so you can fit other items in there. Sometimes I will put other lesser used loyalty cards back there, things that I am not going to use very often, but again, that I do want to have with me. So let me go ahead and just turn this around here. And then as you can see, I've got all of these cards back here. These slots are also pretty secure, so it is easy to pull your card out, but it also does keep them safe. I'm not worried about these coming sliding out. And then back here, you've got this slip pocket. It's the same size as the one on the front, so it runs almost the length of the wallet. And in here, I like to keep an extra deposit slip, and I always keep just a stamp in here just in case I need those as well. But again, very versatile. You can really set this wallet up any way you'd like. So if you prefer to keep your cash down in here, you could do that as well. Or if you'd like to keep it in this area. But I just really find for me that I really enjoy having the cash in this front section and then keeping things I don't use quite as often back here. And then again, the everyday cards and ID and things in this area. Now, I also mentioned to you in the beginning that you could use this not only as a wallet, but as a clutch as well. So I wanted to show you a little bit more about that because I know that is something that interests people quite a bit about this wallet. So I will typically put my phone and a lipstick in this back pocket here. I do wanna caution you, if you overfill this wallet, if you have too many cards in here, it can make it a little bit thick and it won't be as easy to carry this as a clutch. What I mean by that is this will get a little bit too thick here or it could be too thick at the front. 
and then these middle uh, magnets won't meet together and then it won't work quite as well. But if you have it filled kind of the way I do now, it is really easy to fit your phone and a lipstick. So I'm just gonna show you that now. So I have an iPhone 6 Plus and I do have it in a spec case. So it's pretty thin, but it does fit with no problem right down in that slot. And then you can fit a lipstick tube as well. This is just a standard MAC lipstick and I will just pop that right down there in the and side. I have the phone and my lipstick down in there that fits it's very easily and then still snaps together with no trouble. Where you can run into problems is if you have a phone and say a lipstick in this back pocket and then you try to put something bulky in here in the front as well, that's when the wallet will tend to be overfilled and then these magnets won't want to meet in the middle. But right now, just carrying a couple of extra items, you could probably also put a house key in here if you needed to. That works really easily, still makes it very workable, very easy to use, and a great little evening clutch with all of your essentials. So there it is. That is a look at my favorite wallet, the Hobo International Lauren. If you have any questions about the wallet, please leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them if I can. I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.